Well, Hannah von Hörner is certainly an exceptional woman. But what about today's career women? What chances do they have in a corporate world? Let's discuss this question with Heiner Torborg, who is an executive search consultant or headhunter as well. Perhaps you could tell us uh, how often is it that you place women in jobs over men? Still relatively seldom because there are not so many obvious choices around. Um, there are much more men than women. However, my clients uh, repeatedly ask for Skilled female... Skilled you mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Top executives. Yeah. Okay. My clients repeatedly ask for female candidates. Um, so f it's up to the search profession to change methodology, to change the approach and to really look for good, capable, qualified women. So you say clients are actually explicitly asking yes. you to find uh, a woman to fill the vacancy. So uh, the gender does seem to play a big role there. Absolutely, because the pressure has become so hot or the heat has become so hot and the pressure is, is, has been increasing over the last couple of years. The quota is around the corner. Europe talks about a co um, quota. The German government is still reluctant, but the quota is there. So they understand, they got the message, and now they change, and they really look actively for women. Um, when, when we talk about supervisory boards, um, whenever the, a seat becomes available, it's going to be filled with a woman. But you just mentioned the quota because there's a, a heated debate going yes. on here in <coughs> Germany. There's people in favour of the quota, gender quota, others are against it. I always thought uh, you were perhaps against it. Definitely. Why? Because a quota is, means force. Um, you're forcing either the woman to uh, move into these positions and maybe they don't really want sometimes, or you have to force males out. Um, and in a free economy, that to me is a no-no. Yeah, but so Absolutely. far, here no. in Germany, German DAX companies, there are about five women in top positions as members of the board. That's not a lot. Uh, how else can you deal with that situation if not using force like a quota? Well, you don't have a quota in the active management board anywhere in the world. Nowhere. Um, Norway is always cited as an example, but we only talk about the uh, board of non-executive directors, not the executive directors, because at that level, executive directors, is, it's almost impossible to force it onto the company and to increase uh, the woman's share to 10, 15, 20 or 30 percent. Okay. Um, no. So no quota, no. but some kind of force or incentive. Heiner Torberg, thank you very much for joining thank us. Thank you.